Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. We are so happy that you came to uh, join us in celebrating Jesus, because this is really all about Jesus. And what I would like for you all to do is to give our children a big clap, please. This is a, we made it into a skit. I'll put it that way. Um, in this skit, we're going to be talking about um, the children of Israel. What, and we are going to be talking about Jesus. <laughs> um, we're going to talk about uh, a little history of the children of Israel, what they were going through before Jesus came. Um, and uh, we're going to have you all join us in singing some Christmas songs, okay? Okay. Somebody? What? What am I Oh. I thought this was kid day. <laughs> <laughs> well, let, let's pray. Most gracious and heavenly Father, we thank you for allowing us another time to spend together corporately to worship and to praise your name on tonight. Thank you for the children. You said in your word, the great is the peace of our children for they are taught of the Lord. I've had the opportunity to say that a couple of times today. But we thank you that you give them peace and you give them an understanding about tonight that passes all understanding. We thank you for revelation knowledge on tonight, Father, because there, there has not been a Christmas program given by the children that has not touched our hearts tremendously. Because we know that the seeds that are planted today, Father, will, will never diminish. It will always grow. Sometimes slowly, most of the time fast. But they'll need what they perform for us tonight at a later date. So we just give you praise and glory and honor for what's happening tonight. Thank you for loving us so much that you gave your son. And it's repeatedly said what we do tonight is because of your son. So we thank you for not just its implication but also for its inference. Knowing that greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world knowing that it's because of what happened that we celebrate tonight. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Christmas Eve service. Over the years, the facts of Christmas have became commingled with the, uh, I can't even hardly see, with the fictions of Christmas to the point where many people no longer recognize what the holiday truly represents. Christmas is a warm, wonderful holiday with many joyous sensuous and traditions. It is an, oh, thank you. <laughs> Woo, okay. It, it is and should be a time of great celebration, but we must recognize what it really is and why we celebrate. We must remember the words of the angel to the shepherds, a savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. Too. 
dark. Do you not like my candle? Dark. Helpless, hopeless. This is the only way to truly describe the world that day. God, the creator and sustainer of all people, had been silent for too long. He had hidden his shining glory from his people leaving them exposed to and under the control of an unfeeling, unrelentless Roman government. By this time, God's people had not known true peace for centuries. They experienced only periodic, short-lived moments of happiness in their lives. When and if the heavy hand of Rome rule might loosen its grip a bondage and power, thus teasing Israel with a slight, blurry glimpse of hope. But these gestures were consistently empty, as there was never an intent to bring freedom or peace. Only jealousy, pride, and political ambition. For God's people, enslaved, battered, and helpless. Any hope for peace or freedom had been long gone buried in the past. But God's people were given the promise of the prophet. Out of Bethlehem will come a ruler over Israel. He will stand and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord. And they will live securely and and he will be their peace. What wonderful news this must have been to ears that had been deafened for so long. The Savior, the ruler, the true ruler of the world had come and through him, hope, and peace, and freedom were brought to all who recognized him. His was to be a power that would overcome and conquer the mightiest of earthly rulers. And his was to be a kingdom that would bring peace forever. If you would turn with me to page six, and we will sing together, O Little Town of Bethlehem. The last page. Amen. I can't 
can't say. <laughs> I bring you good, no good news of joy, of great joy. These were the words of the angels to the shepherds on that quiet night. This message was intended to bring joy, and joy it did bring. God had promised the world with a wonderful gift, the long-awaiting promise, Savior, a shepherd to guide his people, and a king who would represent them. All that the people had needed, prayed for, and waited had finally come to them. For these people who had far so long been waiting without peace, light, hope, and life, God's promise of all that and more was now beginning to, was now being offered to them through the message of the angels. What good news that was. This gift of love, God himself, clothed as an infant, had finally come to be right here with them. In the flesh, Emmanuel, Jesus, the very definition of great joy. Thus, the first Christmas celebration was about to begin. If you would turn to page two. I'm going to sing the first verse of It Came Upon the Midnight Clear. And that's page four. I'm sorry. It came upon the midnight clear, that glorious song of love. From angels bending near the earth to touch the harps of gold. Peace, goodwill to men from heaven's all gracious King. The world in solemn stillness lay to hear the angels sing. The shepherds made no plans for an elaborate party. No special notices of their pilgrimage were sent out. They did not bother with fancy clothes or to prepare a royal feast. They just went. They hurried off to see these things told to them. They went to give honor to the one who was born to bring joy back to their empty hearts. They went to offer those hearts to him the Son of God, their Savior, as an act of worship and celebration. As well, wise men from the East traveled to that place to see him who was born to bring joy into the world. These men, though rich, happy, and fulfilled by the world's standards, came to honor and worship him because they believed the true king, the true fulfillment, and the true source of joy was given by God in the form of that little boy. Though they came bearing costly gifts to give, they came knowing they would truly receive that which is priceless. Oh, what a great joy.
the first Noel, the angels did say, was to certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay, in fields as they lay, keeping their sheep on a cold winter's night that was so deep. No. The chorus again, Noel, 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 Noel. Born is the King of Israel. Christmas is a celebration of God's greatest gift, life. The angel told the shepherds that it was good news of great joy that would be for all people. What was this good news? A savior was born to them. God looked upon all humans, saw us in our need, and responded with the most practical gift ever given. When informing Joseph of Mary's pregnancy and God's plan, the angel said to him, you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. <clears throat> His people sins, every person sins. Every one of us was lost, hopeless, and dying in our sin. There was no way out. All of our efforts to bring about forgiveness and reconciliation were useless. Sin was going to destroy us, all of us, but God said no. His love would not let it happen, so he put into action his plan for reconciliation. He sent us his one and only son, who himself would know no sin to take our sin, to forgive our sin, and to receive the punishment for our sin in our place. God, by his own requirement, sentenced his own perfect son to death so that we, the unworthy, the broken, and the sinful could have the gift of life. What else could anyone ask for? What more practical gift could anyone ever get? What better reason could ha anyone have ever to celebrate? The punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his wounds we are healed. Amen. Amen. Page one, O come, all ye faithful. O come, all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. O come ye, O come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the king of angels. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. That night, in a small town in Judea, a child was born, quietly and unannounced to all but a few shepherds. He made his interest into the world. Though small in the eyes of the world and helpless in the minds of people, he was God's answer to the centuries-old petition of his people, the all-but-forgotten source of hope and peace. By those words of the angel, a Savior has been born to you, he is Christ the Lord. All who live in this dark world today have the same hope. Jesus, born so many years ago, was born for us as well. It is still his desire to bring peace to all people and to reign as their king. Each year at Christmas time, 
People send themselves into financial, emotional, and physical depression, trying to bring into their lives and the lives of others the feeling of joy and peace that Christmas promises. But the joy and peace of Christmas is not a feeling. It cannot be purchased, created, decorated, or wrapped. There is no program or accomplishments that will activate it in a person's heart. The joy and peace of Christmas is embodied in the child himself, Jesus Christ, God's free gift. It's the great joy promised by the angel. Only by seeking him and sharing him with others will it give each man, woman, and child find the true peace and joy of Christmas. As we celebrate Christmas, let us not neglect to recognize the truth about Christmas. Yes, it is about peace on earth, but the celebration is about the birth of a king who brought peace to earth, to our hearts, to our very lives for all eternity. And our children are holding these signs up. And these signs represent what we all can have. When Jesus came, he brought all of these things. Emmanuel, God with us. Peace, you can still have that. You know, I, I, I could give a testimony right quick. I truly need some peace right now. <laughs> I need his peace. <laughs> Love. There's no love like Jesus' love. The Savior. He is the light. The angels brought the good tidings, and it still exists. Joy and hope. And we find all these things in the name of Jesus. If you will sing with us the last song, Joy to the World. And that is on page two, Joy to the World. Can we all stand and sing Joy to the World? And we're going to sing all of the verses. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let us receive her King. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And and nature sing. Joy to the world. Sins and sorrows grow. The ground he comes to make his blessings flow. For as the curse is found, for as the curse is found, for as for as the curse is found, he rules the world.
wonders of his love. Joy to the world. Um, Mary was played by Sister Soraya. Joseph was played by Brother Quinnen. <laughs> and they're ready to go. <laughs> they're ready to go. Brother John is going to play a song or two for us while our children change out. And they have another portion to do. Ava Clemens, you're next. Remember, Gigi told you, okay? Remember, okay. What's the title? Celebrate. Yes. So, come celebrate and baby's birth. Come celebrate and peace on earth. Come celebrate. Come celebrate the baby's birth. Come celebrate the peace on earth. Peace on earth. Woo! Good job, Chicka Boom Boom. Yeah. I'll give you some candy later. Go, go, go. Go. Uh uh. Uh uh. Somebody's next. Okay, Dad. Hey, Amen. Jules. Come here, honey. Aww, you're so precious. And you just say, welcome. 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 Welcome to our church. <laughs> Welcome to our church. As we celebrate Jesus. Jesus. Birth. Birth. <laughs> <sighs> Josiah, come here, handsome. Hope y'all praying. Okay. <laughs> so Christmas is here. Christmas is here. Filling hearts with cheer. Woo! Hallelujah. <laughs> what? You, you stopping me. She said, Marcia, I'm going to help you. Come here. Marcia, she nervous. It's okay, honey. We still love you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Sapphire. <laughs> yeah. You could do this, girl. Angel songs. Angel songs. Um, angel sing of peace and joy. Angel sing the peace and joy. Who was born? Who was born? A special, A special baby boy. He will be king over all. The earth. He will be king over all the earth. Praise him. Praise him. Praise his holy birth. Amen. Lana. Where Lana? There her is. Come on, Lana. I know, baby Lana. A Christmas story. Three little angels, all in white, watch over Jesus through the night. Three little shepherds humbly kneel in wonder and awe of God's love so real. Three kings who are wise came, led by a star, to find the holy child and bring gifts from afar. Bring gifts from afar. Who was that? <laughs> Three little doves in the rafters crew. The baby's a gift to me and you. Amen. Amen. Baby Lana. Samaria. Uh, 
Look how they're getting so big. Little baby in the hay, you are bigger than wait, you wait, look. Wait, wait, what's the title? You are bigger. Oh. <laughs> you are bigger. <laughs> little baby in the hay, you are bigger than you look. You are big enough to save me. Little baby in the hay, your arms are longer than they look. Your arms are wide enough to hold the world. Little baby in the hay, you are more beautiful than you look now. You are so beautiful that words cannot really express how much we love you. Thank you for coming and thank you for your sacrifice. Amen. Amen. Good job. Awesomeness. Brayden. <laughs> That's right. That's a preacher man right there. Hi. <laughs> the first Christmas. Who was born in a shelter for animals lowly? It was Jesus, the Christ child, a baby most holy, who cared for their sheep on a hillside that night. The shepherds heard a message brought by angels of light, who gave the Christ child gifts to lay at his feet, wise men from the east and the new king to greet, who gave forth a beautiful, bounteous light. A special star shone over the stable all night. It guided shepherds and wise men to where the king lay. It lighted the sky till it shone brightest day. And so we still celebrate the Christ child's birth. He brought love and life to all people on earth. Amen. Good job. Malachi. Cut it out. The still night. Mm -hmm. The lambs lay down and fall asleep. The shepherds nod their heads which keep. Suddenly the dark is lifted. Angels' voices still the fright. They are full of hope and joy. And Bethlehem has a special boy. Woo! Amen. Look at that. <laughs> Amen. J. Tavion. JJ Tabion. He be saying, Miss Stephanie, that's not my name. <laughs> Christmas time. Come and dance to a Christmas tune, and Merry Christmas will be here oh, soon. Oh, you ain't got to look at my paper? Love and laughter <laughs> fill the air. Happiness is everywhere. We celebrate Christ's holy birth. He brought his love and peace to earth. Oh! He has been like, where the paper at? I don't know it. Where the paper at? I don't know it. I don't know. I need the paper. I didn't practice. And look. Oh, my goodness. Verlis. Verlis. Come on up, honey. Verlis. Oh, you don't know it? Yeah. <laughs> A brand new start. You've heard the Christmas story, so what will you do now? Something, some of you are wondering, your question still is how. It's quite a tale of miracles, here, and we have the doubting hearts. Just remember that he came here to give you a brand new start. The baby in the manger grew up to save us all. That same Savior listens every time you call. Forgive him for God. <laughs> your sins will fade away. Ask him without hesitating. He's ready for you today. <laughs> I think that's all. Amen? Yes. Yes. Give them a hand, everyone. Wait. 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 Stop. Everything. Everybody, stop. Everything, stop. Is that Bonnie? Stop. Jonathan, please come. She did it. She did it. Uh -huh. Okay. It's Jonathan. Jonathan. I'm so sorry. You forgive me? Thank you. I love him. Oh, come, come, oh, oh come, oh, come, come, mighty angels. Come to shepherd folk and sing. Sing a bursting of a savior and the peace and hope he brings. 
O come, come, humbled shepherd. Mm -hmm. Come to, wait, come to Bethlehem and see a baby in a manger born to save you, both you and me. Both you and me. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. O come, come, royal wise man. Mm -hmm. Come to Christ with hearts to give. Mm -hmm. Give. Your treasure, offer worship to the babe who makes you live. Mm -hmm. Oh, come, come, little children. Come to Jesus Christ and kneel. Kneel before the gentle baby souls uh, to save and heart to heal. Woo! I love you. Hey, Amen. Give them a applause. They're awesome. Hey, Amen. Hallelujah. Come on up, for real. Yeah. 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 I know. Go, go, go. Can we give our 
our children another hand clap. Room.